I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Welcome to Calvary Christian Church. A sincere and very heartfelt happy Father's Day to all of our fathers joining us this morning and to those joining us virtually. We have several fathers who are not here because they are off being fathers to their children on the camp out. So God bless them. And in light of this, Proverbs 23, 24 says, the father of the righteous will greatly rejoice and he who fathers a wise son will be glad in him. Hallelujah. What a blessing for those of you who are older like me to see the Lord bless your children as they set their face to pursue him after the hard work of raising them. But even if you are still waiting on your perfect heavenly father to see them move into a closer relationship with them. Guys, our roles as fathers never ends, amen? And we can clearly seek and trust our heavenly father to move on our behalf because he alone is our example. What a beautiful introduction and I, I just, I love this in Matthew 9 when the disciples asked can you teach us how to pray? Jesus first and foremost says, when you pray, pray like this, our Father who is in heaven. This is how he wants us to know his Father, the God of the universe, is as Father. Brothers and sisters, the Lord is big on family, amen? It is so important, it is critical that we realize this and come into that because it is a precious thing that we can celebrate even on this Father's Day. Even now, truly celebrate our perfect Heavenly Father. Every good and perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights. Hallelujah, in whom there is no variation or shifting shadow. And as we prepare for worship, John 4.23 says, Jesus says, the true worshipers, the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. As the Father is looking for those who will worship him in that way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah that he has given us his Holy Spirit that we can connect with him on that level as our perfectly, perfect heavenly Father. Amen. All right, praise the Lord. Well, let's, as we seek him this morning and touch his face a little bit more as our Father in heaven, as in the audience of one, let's sing that precious hymn, I Surrender All, to our perfect Father this morning. Amen. All to Jesus I
thank you that you have privileged us, oh God, through the precious blood of our Savior in King Jesus, to know you as our Father this morning. Thank you, King of heaven, Lord, that we can come into your presence, Lord, and seek your face, dear Father God. Lord, and move, we pray, in our presence to touch us and transform us and make us more like you in your presence, Lord God. Lord, we thank you that just one touch from your heavenly hand can transform us and change us and renew us and bring us into a newness, oh God, that you would intend for us. Even this morning, moment by moment, Lord, we pray that you would come forth in us, revive us, cleanse us, renew us in you, dear Father, that we may glorify your glorious and amazing name, Lord. We thank you for your presence, and we pray in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Break forth into joy, O oh my soul. Break forth into joy, O oh my soul. In the presence of the Lord.
wait on you in your precious holy presence. What a great privilege it is. What an honor to be able to gather together in freedom in your house with your people and to magnify and to exalt and to honor and to lift up your holy name in this place. We say in our hearts, you are the one that we praise. You are the one that we adore. And we are so thankful today that we can come into your presence and we can approach you saying, our Father who art in heaven. You are our Father. We are your body. We are your children, your sons and your daughters. You are not ashamed to call us your family. And we thank you today. I ask, Heavenly Father, that today in this place, for those that have hurts and wounds that need to be healed, maybe from their childhood, maybe due to an absentee father or a father who didn't do his job properly, I ask that you would give healing today. To anyone in this room, Father, I ask that you would begin to heal those wounds as we go to your word. And we ask, Lord, that your spirit would hover over this place, that you would speak to our hearts, that you would change us, that you would conform us into the image of your Son. And all God's people said together, 